morning. So I may or may not be going to New York tomorrow. Still don't know, I probably won't know until much later today because they're behind. But maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. So today I'm like scrambling to find accommodation in case I am going. Stay there for two weeks or I might have to come back for work. Hopefully I'll be able to find accommodation and be able to stay for two weeks. We'll see. So I thought it was a good chance to pick up the vlog and kind of take you along. It might be a couple parts, like a New York part. But anyway, it is, what day is it? It's Wednesday. Just woken up. I've done some, I've like hung up all my washing, have breakfast. I've made like the weirdest breakfast. I mean, it looks really good in this picture, but... I've got some tofu, like scrambled tofu with calavanero, old onion. I don't know what this is, but I think it's like broccoli shoots. Also slightly made my eyebrows lighter. I feel like they were just a little bit too dark and now it's getting sunnier. I basically use this. Um, that's the original formula. I think they do one that is more mild but my dark ass eyebrows need the the proper stuff so i have to wait around for a package so i'm pretty much chilling this morning um do some bits i'm helping my sister plan her 21st so i just need to create a little document for her um, anyway um i think i might go watch some coachella vlogs i've been loving all of them recently like i feel like i'm really just intrigued i'm in the my For You page is that on YouTube. That's technically a For You page. Anyway, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't really done anything. <laughs> I've tried to crack my eyebrows. I used that inverted filter because I saw it and I was like, oh my God. One is on its, like the other way. I think this one like is higher. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I got. This is my favorite vintage store. This place has a really good mixture of like cheap, unbranded, but like still really curated and nice. It's one of my favorite vintage stores. There is another one called Quatrian Vintage. I'll put it there. Um, but this one is called Rain. They have a place in Soho and Stoke Newington. Stoke Newington one is bigger, but I just like the Soho one. Like it's, it just gives, you find some great stuff in there. And they have designer, but not overwhelmingly like stupid price designer, which just really pisses me off sometimes. I'm just like, Ugh. Anyway, so I got this. All this skirt, like they have loads of these vintage suits, skirt suits, blazers, like the Sony. I got a really nice Missoni jacket. This is Alberto Ferretti. I think I probably said that. This is the top. Uh, what it looks like on. That and you can see it's like just really lovely suit material, slight sheen, which we like. It's a little sporty sport moment. It's the skirt. It looks like just a basic skirt, but trust me when I say tight and it's straight. It doesn't go in or flick, flick out. And I just thought this was a great outfit. I'm gonna wear this to an event that I have on Friday if I'm not already in New York but I'm gonna wear this to the casting that I have in New York which is why I'm going to New York if I didn't think I said fingers crossed I might I'm, I think I'm going for casting <laughs> keep my composure because I feel like a lot of these things are like oh, sorry buddy so we're manifesting Ooh, I'm gonna wear this because I'm not gonna, like, I'm just not, I just don't. My body looks hideous in skinny jeans. And I know, I feel like everyone will have that same opinion about their own bodies, unless you're really just body confident, and I am just not. Um, just, I've not found a pair that looks good. This is gonna be my classy outfit, and hopefully they like it. To wear it with like a little racer tee, kind of like Sex in the City vibes. Uh, I literally have to keep my phone on me the whole time because so, Generally, we'll get a message being like, book your flight. And I've got to be able to book it, which... Anyway, I got this little package from Liz and Shrimps. Love. This balm. Good for your double cleanse 
I'll take, if I'm wearing makeup, I'll take it off with this, then do a cleanse. It is, it's elite. A cleanse, oh, I've used this, it's really good. I don't want to go to the gym, but it is hideous outside. I'm basically doing this um, tracking thing where it tracks your cycle and it's called like 28. You like this, what you should eat in this certain bit, this is what you should, ex how you should exercise. Right now I'm in like the awaken stage. It's like hit, do everything like really intensely. You're feeling great, well done. Um, it's normally when you're ovulating is when that happens because your body's like, woo. Obviously, in my case, I've got first polycystic ovary syndrome. On a spectrum, I'm on like the very lower scale, thank God, because all the PCOS girlies who have it even more so than what I experience, I'm like, they need a fucking medal. Right now, I feel like shit. <laughs> and my app is like, you feel great, everything's going well, mindset is perfect, and I'm like, I still feel sick. The hours keep going and I'm just like not feeling any better. Um, I probably will just go walk and I keep thinking about casting and I don't know, I just keep thinking about lots of things that I can't control and it's making me a little bit stir crazy. Um, so we want to avoid that. You'll see me in the gym. Anything just to stretch.